Today we're going to do a slow cooker recipe and that's going to be a beef and beer stew. So I'm going to be cooking it in the slow cooker um, and let's just get started. So for the beef I'm using the casserole steak or sometimes I use like gravy steak. I think it's the same thing, maybe they just call it different different places. I'm not 100% sure. But it's just a cheap steak that's good for slow cooking. So I got this one here which is just over 500 grams and another one oh so that's over just over 500 grams so i'm gonna do quite a big batch because it'll be quite nice for leftovers i feel with things like this it's always good like the day after as well and other ingredients you can definitely add in other vegetables like celery or leek or anything like that um i'm also going to add in some peas but yeah i'm just going to get this all nice chopped up and ready and just going to chuck everything into the pot all right so in the pot all of the beef chopped up into diced Chucking in the veg, so I've got five garlic cloves, um, two very small onions quartered, and three potatoes quartered, and two carrots, just like kind of chunky. About half a cup of peas. So beef stock, I'm going to roughly do about 500 ml, so just half of this bottle here. Diced tomatoes, can one, can two. Oregano leaves, I'm just using the dried. About a tablespoon. Dried bay leaves. I'm gonna pick maybe one, two, three. Well, these ones are kind of getting small. I've got all the big ones. Three, four, five. Last but not least is some beer. So we're just using the Holland Deer because that's just what we brought to drink for the fortnight anyhow. Um, I know dark beer is better with cooking, but to me, beer's beer, it should be fine. Whoop. I'm trying to be fancy. Anyhow. One bottle of beer. This is also how many meals? Um, he just fuzzed the shit out of that. 330 meals. Should be right, I think. Almost forgot salt and pepper. So, season to your own liking. Remember, it's going to cook for a while and you can always taste and adjust. So, I'm just going to go in for about half a teaspoon of salt to start off with. And for pepper, I'm just going to go in for about a teaspoon. Now we just want to mix it all together and make sure all of the beer and the stock is uh, mixed well with the tin tomato. Alright, so I'm putting mine on high for about four to five hours because it's like, I don't even know the time, two, three in the afternoon. Um, realistically, I do prefer to cook on low in the slow cooker and cook it for about six hours. But yeah, depending on what time you start and how much time you have. But we'll come back in four hours. All right, in my mug here, I just done about two tablespoons, or small person is free to be honest, it was a bit much, but oh well. Two tablespoons of corn flour to, and a couple of tablespoons of water as well, just to get it nice and mixed. Um, for the corn flour, slurry or slurry, however you pronounce it, um, cold water. I actually just stirred this, it's been in for about three hours now. I stirred it and tasted it, and I added about two tablespoons of sugar as well. So now I'm just going to put the corn flour slurry in and give that a really good mix and that will hopefully help to thicken this up because it's pretty liquidy. And also to serve we're going to, so it will go on for another about an hour and then it will be time to serve. Normally I either do mashed potato or rice when I do a stew like this but today because it's such a big batch. And it is quite hot. I don't really want mashed potato or rice. So we're just going to do some bread and butter and just like dunk it in and just eat like the veggies and the meat in it. So that is dinner completely all done in my bowl. It smells so stinking good. And yeah, I'm just serving it with some bread and butter. I just put my finger in some butter. That's okay. All right, so I've got my bowl here. I'm so excited to try. Um, it smells so good. So... I think I had mentioned it um, just before I put in the corn flour I gave it a taste and I decided to add in about two tablespoons of sugar and I haven't tasted it since then so hopefully it tastes alright. Yeah that's good. So some meat. I just tried like the sauce, the liquid. Meat. Oh that's so turned up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's so tender. Okay. Potato. I also had it. Um. So when I added the corn flour, I um 
cooked it well like I kept it on for another hour and just the last half an hour I had the lid kind of cracked and I turned it off just so it cooled down so it's not like burning my mouth and just so when it cools down they will thicken up even more and it has already carrot mm -mm. beef is it such a good flavor it's not overly berry before I put in the sugar, it was quite berry. That's why I was like, oh, I might do sugar. Just a, you know, and it, it worked really good. <clears throat> and I was going to go to the bread shop and get like a French stick, but I just didn't have time. So, ordinary bread is still so good. I gotta admit, I do prefer the beef and red wine, but this is still delicious. Mm. <laughs> You've got some shit packing. I don't know, <laughs> I can feel it. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my future videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!